Hi, it's Jackie. The three born babies are forever babies. And if my voice is echoing a little, it's because I'm in my dining room today. But I figured the dining room would probably be the easiest place to do this box opening that I have. And this is a very special box opening as this package comes from Canada and it is a doll however it is not a reborn or silicone it is a 2007 baby alive potty doll now, I don't really know if you guys look at dolls other than the reborn dolls and the, the uh, silicone dolls but I do I find all dolls are pretty interesting and I very much enjoy watching a lot of the toy channels and so I was thinking it would be fun to um, purchase a Baby Alive doll. My sister had the original doll when it first came out when we were little girls and I always wanted to play with it but um, it seemed like we never had batteries. So I'm not sure how to get this box. Here we go. I'm not sure how to get the box open. These scissors are blunt tips, so these just are not going to do. So as you can see here, I have skipped looking for the scissors and have taken out the big guns. Come on, Spiky. Mommy doesn't want to be trimming your whiskers. Nobody wants you to get caught up in your pretty little face where it doesn't belong. So Spike and Molly are in here and they both want to see what's in the box. As you know cats, they are like babies when it comes to boxes. They would much rather have the box than what's inside the surprise. Yeah. Oh, she's wrapped nice. Molly definitely wants to play with the box here. So let's see what we have. Let me get her out. And then we'll take a look at what we have. Now this is, in my opinion, one of the sweetest baby alive dolls. And I say that because um, she is like the 2006 Baby Alive where her face is soft and she blinks when she talks and she's somewhat interactive. I don't, <laughs> there goes Molly. <laughs> Look at already. And Spike is wondering how he can get in there too. You know what's going to happen next? <laughs> A cat fight. I should probably put it on the floor, but then there'll be an issue with the dogs. So I'll just, I'm going to leave the box there. If it gets too loud, then I'll have to throw the box in the basement for the cats to play with. So, okay. So as I was saying, the um, 2006 Baby Alive um, had the soft face. And these, the 2006 and the 2007 are bigger baby dolls and um, than the other babies, the other baby alives. And as you can see, she is a nice, nice size. And she is in um, perfect condition, as you can see. Beautiful doll. And um, she actually belonged to an adult collector in Canada. And that's why she's in such gorgeous condition as she was never played with um, by a child. But you know what? 
I just wanted her because she looked like a lot of fun to me. And I thought she would be a lot of fun to play with, with my um, new parrot and with my real baby that I opened yesterday that I shared with you. And so anyways, that's why I decided to purchase her. So let's see what she came with. She has some little doll clothes. And I do believe she, um, I don't think that even newborn clothes would fit her. So the doll clothes are very cute. And these are, this is Circo from Target, I can see. Um, but this is the Baby Alive Summer hat. And this is a Circo nightshirt. This is a Circo that's really cute onesie. Maybe preemie size clothes would fit her, but I see how little. And I do believe this is a baby alive. I don't see the tags, but I kind of recognize the pants. They look like baby alive pants, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, she has the little baby alive snuggly. Oh yeah, they were the right ones, see? And the baby alive pajama top the Baby Alive jacket and I do believe this is a Baby Alive I think this came with the snuggly I had seen as a pack that's really cute too got the little bear hood and then she also has a beautiful little handmade handmade sweater which I thought was really nice, and that was kind of a bonus. And she has really cute little hand-knit booties with the string yarn. And I'm sure you all know these go for a pretty penny also. There, they're really cute. And look, she's got another pair of either boots or mittens. They look like they're probably little boots, but she put them over her hands. That's cute take this off of her just to check her out and make sure she looks okay oh she has batteries in oh there we go isn't she a sweetie hi hi oh she's real cute she's a lot like um, the real baby really cute and she's got the star in her hand Oh, absolutely. I don't know if she has any sense. Of, oh, maybe she does because, I mean, she did just, I have to read. You know, I don't know if she has her directions or not. But I had purchased, um, yeah, very cute. Isn't she, darling? Yeah, she's, she is exactly what I wanted for the nursery. And I had bought these um, last week because I do want to feed her. I ordered a special kind of bib so when the goopy stuff comes down, um, it won't go over or close. It's got like a little tray right here. So it should come next week. I'm not going to feed her until then because I just don't want to get the stuff on her clothes and deal with that at all. Maybe if I was 10, I would want to deal with that, but at this point, no, don't want to. Um, and here is um, some juice, juice packets that came with the doll. Whoops. So we have plenty of things to play with. And she has more juice and yeah these are all juices that the, the woman sent those are those are nice and oh look the baby alive bib actually does have a little fold right here um so that the food will get caught the food will get caught and not drip down her clothes but I did order the plastic one, and I'll probably wait until then to do that. And which one of my babies is sparking this time? I have three little dogs. I have a miniature pincher, 
and that's Heidi, and she's 10 years old. And then I have a Yorkie Poo, who's three, and she is Sophia. And the one that we hear right now is the little one that we adopted just before Christmas. And he is terrorizing the cat. As you can see, he's about half the size of Molly. And, um, yeah, all right, here we go. We've got a circus going on. I thought you guys were going to play with the box. Hmm? What happened to that, Leo? That's enough of that, you little monkey. All right, so let's see what else she came with. She has her magnetic spoon and her little baby alive dish for mixing up her food. And she has her little sippy cup. Let's see how how that works. I'll turn her on. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hi, baby alive. We'll have to come up with a better name than that for you. Sure. You want to pretend? Oh, that's really awesome. Oh, I can see this is going to be a lot of fun. And then we give her a drink. And that is also magnetized. She's really cute. Now what are you going to do? More. More? Well, seeing as there's not really any food in there, how about we just... Yeah, okay. The temp food is good, I guess. And you can eat more of it. Okay, so, then what else does she have? She has a little lamb baby. And a little baby alive potty. And this little, top, this little potty is magnetized. And when she um, goes potty, whatever you feed her or drink her, um, if she doesn't have an accident, she'll tell you um, that she has to go. And then you have to hurry because she can only wait for so long. And then you put her on here, and that's when the liquids come through. And then you can see, and it's inside the potty, and then after you can rinse it, which I thought was kind of cute. And sometimes she makes it to the potty, and sometimes she doesn't. And then she has some little baby alive jelly shoes. And these are regular baby pampers. But I'm sure that this is probably a more practical way to go. But um, I think with what I purchased through eBay and what I have here, if I go through all of this, I will be very, very surprised. I really bought her for the interactive um, <laughs> did you do, do, do role playing videos? You guys know I like to do the role play videos, so that's what she's for. I'm gonna comb her hair out a little bit and I'm gonna take her picture. Mommy, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Okay, how about a little drink instead? You want a drink? I'm hungry. Yeah, that's, okay. So she's really cute. See, that's what she does when she says she has to go potty. She, she says, uh-oh, got to go potty. And if you don't hurry up and put her on the toilet, see, if you don't hurry up and put her on there, and then she's got magnets somewhere in her that lets the liquid 
come through and go into the toilet. <laughs> and she'll tell you um, if she didn't make it. <laughs> so I also have, um, I brought down a, a dummy with a magnify, with a magnet. See, she had an accident. Well, that's okay, sweetheart. So I brought down a passy with a magnet. She made a stinky, that is too funny. I brought this passy downstairs and with the magnet. And I want to make some passies for her because, see, when I put this to her mouth, see, she sucks. So the woman um, had told me how to make passies for her. You just open up the end of a uh, pacifier and slip a magnet in, bring it all the way to the end of the nipple, and then you stick the tip of some silicone inside and you fill the, the tip up, and then when you put it in her mouth, um, she will make suction and sucking noises, which I thought was pretty cute. All right, so that's all I have for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed um, my box opening on my 2007 Baby Alive potty doll. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Hopefully next time um, I'll have a name for her. Bye-bye. Boo. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll call you, Boo. You know, that's not bad. I think we may as well just cut to the chase. We're going to call her Boo. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye. Say bye, Boo. Oh, she got the hiccups. Bye-bye. <laughs>